So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Let's continue our journey with the sampler afghan moving on to the next one of the thistle garden motif. This is the thistle garden stitch. This one here was kind of scaring me a lot. I saw it in actually a book last week um, and then I seen it here. I'm like oh my god I'm actually gonna have to learn it. <laughs> so what we have here is this one's gonna require a little bit of obsessive counting. It's neat um, and it, it's up to you. Like it's got really neat texture. It's a really neat idea. It it actually looks pretty fabulous. So um, let's continue our journey. Let's not be too scared. Let's grab your same hook a five millimeter size H and whatever yarn that you decided and let's buckle in our seat belts and see if we can get through this. So I'm going to show you the all the way to this section here and this is just this is just a repeat once you get up there. So I'm gonna take you through most of this and then have you repeat to the final to the end. Let's uh, go into this journey and let's uh, not be so scared. Okay, let's begin your journey. This one is a tough one. So if this one uh, kicks your butt a little bit, it's okay. It almost kicked mine too. So it's all good. So we'll get our butts kicked together. <laughs> let's chain 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So far so good. Go all the way to 26 for me and then uh, let's buckle in our seat belts. Let's go into row number one. Second chain from the hook just kind of back. So just go to the second, turn it and get the back hump of the chain and I need you to put in uh, one single crochet in each of the chains. There's a total of 25. The number 25 is actually really relevant here. So when you're going off track, which you could because I did, um, just remember that the number 25 exists. So if any number you're gonna remember is 25. Let's continue all the way across. This is row number one and so far so good, right? And let's continue to row number two in a moment. So I'm all the way across. I'm not crying yet and let's turn your work and do row number two. Okay row number two another easy one to so just chain up one and one single crochet across. Okay so we don't have to bite our nails yet. Let's just do a single crochet across because row number three. Oh my. Row number three is not bad. This is the other rows that kind of kicked me. So continue to row number two and I'll see you in row number three in a moment. In row number three we're going to apply the middle thistle that is going to start this off. So it's a good practice run to get us started. If anything um, you're going to add an extra stitch by accident and it will be in row number four. So not this row but it will be in the next one and we'll have to watch out for that. So you're going to then just chain up one and you'll single crochet in the first 12. So let's count those out together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I want you to think about this for a sec. So we just did 12. If there's 12 left on this side that gives you 24. So the middle one that we're about to do is the 25th stitch. In this stitch here you're going to apply three leaves. How you do that is that in this next stitch you'll start with a single crochet and then you'll chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fold it back down and go into the same stitch. This single crochet that it just did, you're gonna need to know that for the future. So then you'll do another ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then single crochet into the same one and do that one more time. So this single crochet that I just finished is also gonna be the one we're gonna play with. So we're gonna play with the one, the single crochets in the next row that are in between this loop and this loop that is coming out. So you'll chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then you'll go into the exact same stitch and single crochet. So you have now what appears to be three leaves. So when you go to play with this in the future you'll play within this single crochet here and this one here. And that counts as this one that it's sitting in. in. So starting in the very next stitch you just need to single crochet the remaining 12 that are left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so let's turn our work and let's do row number 4. And if you're gonna have to improvise, if you're gonna add any extra stitches, uh, you'll see it happening on this row here. So let's begin row number 4. Let's not try crying. So row number four, we're going to then just chain up one and you'll do one single crochet in the first 12. So we, let's count those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I want you to hold these. So row number four here is the right side of the work. So I need you to fold these and hold these down in front. So come towards you. And I need you to go into that single crochet that is in between the two first loops. And we're gonna do a two together stitch. So you're just gonna go in the single crochet and yarning over and pulling it through. Keeping this in front still. And go to the next single crochet that's here in between the two loops. And pull and going in, pulling through, and then pull through all three loops. So just make sure these loops stay in the front. Pull through all three, and that was the two together in there. So your first stitch will be right here. So if you had 12 coming into this, this is 13, and so then starting in the next one, so we have 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And look at that. I am short. See what I'm saying? This is not a, this is not like, this is not an accident. This is what happens. So I have started in the wrong stitch right after. So what I'm going to do to improvise for that is that I'm going to start one later than I thought I should have. I'm leaving this in the tutorial because this will happen to you. So I have 12 already. This, this is 13. So this is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Now I know what you're possibly thinking because I was thinking the same thing. Why not just do a two together somewhere along here? You'll see it. So if you need to improvise anything, do it behind the, the flower pattern. So let's turn your work and let's do row number five. So five, we're just gonna do one single crochet. So chain up one, do one single crochet across. We've already confirmed our count so you don't really need to count it but you may want to. It's 25 and maybe back here in the sixth row is going to be um, securing two of the three leaves as we do it. And let's continue to the sixth row in just a moment. Now the sixth row is gonna have us pin the two leaves that are on the outside. And what we're going to do is that we're going to pin the one through the back loop of one of the chains to the project. Then the next stitch you're gonna go right through the loop itself so it'll hold it in completely. You'll do five single crochets in a row. This one here we have to go through the loop first and then the second time we have to pin through. So we pin the first time then through the loop and this one we have to go through the loop and then pin and just think about you know why we're doing that because we have to keep it in balance. So to do this then you're going to just single or chain one and single crochet in the first nine. So let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Now make sure that this is not twisted. See how it's laying flat? So you wanna go into a back, okay, like the back. I'm drawing a blank for the name. So just go into black and then just go into the stitch work itself and single crochet so it's trapped. And so then you'll single crochet into the next single crochet but go right through the loop first and then into the stitch and that will hold that back. So it's like a double option here. Starting in the very next one you'll do five in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Then 
you're going to, sorry, do five. Then you're gonna go right through the loop first, single crochet in. Then you're going to go into a back of the chain itself and then single crochet in the next. So it's a double way of holding it down like that. And then you're going to single crochet the remaining of the stitches left. So once you're all the way at the end, you'll turn your work and row number seven is the same. So make sure that you do have 25 stitches going across. So just chaining up one and you can count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, and twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. And so that's what it looks like so far. So now you're gonna go into row number eight. So in row number eight, you're just gonna chain up one and you're gonna, we're gonna attach this one to be sitting down. So you're just going to do single crochet the first 12 in a row. So let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. In the next one here, we're gonna do what is called as a popcorn. It's not called a popcorn here, but that's what you're doing. You want to use the next stitch, but you wanna go through the top of this loop. So not the back part of the loop, just go right through it. So you're gonna double crochet five times, going right through that loop and into the same stitch. So we're gonna do once and twice, three times, four and five. Drop the loop, come to the first one of the group of five from front to back, pick up the loop, pull through and chain one to lock it. That chain one to lock it is the actual stitch for this here. And then starting in the next one, single crochet, this will squat it down and create that flowering look. So you'll do the, the rest of the 12 that are left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Like that. And that was your first thistle that went in. So let's do rows number nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So nine, ten, eleven, and twelve are all the same. So there's three rows and they're just one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across. So please do those four rows of single crochets and then meet me back here and I'll pick you up on the thirteenth row in just a moment from now. So four rows of single crochet please. So now we're going to apply the thirteenth row. So we're now going to start with the thistles and the leaves. So we're gonna do two sets of leaves by the time we get across. So let's chain up one and do one single crochet in the first five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So in the next one is where we wanna apply the leaves. So we're gonna single crochet and chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Coming in, single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming into the same one, single crochet, and then one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and single crochet in. So starting in the next stitch, you need to do the next thirteen single crochets. So we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. 
So the next one is gonna be another set of leaves. So single crochet, chain 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and into the same. And then I need you to single crochet the remaining of your stitches going across. And that will conclude then row number 13. And you now have two sets of thistles ready to go for next time. And there you go. Let's move on to row number 14. So row number 14, we really have to watch the counts now. So we're gonna start off and we're going to chain one and do one single crochet in the next one. So our, sorry, five single crochets in a row. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Now we wanna do the two together stitch. So it will be this stitch here. So it's in between the loops, pull through. And then it will be the single crochet in between the two loops here. Okay and continuing along and I learned my lesson that this stitch is actually part of there so I went into that before so I know to skip this one so I'm gonna go right here and we're going to then single crochet the next 13 in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen and then do two together again. So just stretching these out. Do your first single crochet between the loops. Do the next single crochet between the loops. Pull together and then the this last one here, this single crochet is part of that so you wanna go to this one here and keeping those loops in front. So we have one, two, three. So this is the basically the second time I'm going through the pattern so I'm actually understanding the stitch counts a lot better so maybe that'll happen to you as well. So let's turn to work and do row number 15. So row number 15 you're going to just chain up one and do one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way across. Make sure there is 25 by the time you get there and if there isn't and you got too many just do it uh, two together or something in behind the flowers so that you don't ever see it. So please go all the way across single crochet and then meet me back here and we'll start row number 16 in a moment. Let's start row number 16. I'm going to improvise on this row. I think there's a mistake here. I'm not 100% sure but it's not working out. So when things don't work out you can either complain and throw it down or you can figure out a solution. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna think that I think that it is and I think I had to do this last night when I did the tester as well. So chain up one and you'll do the first two. So we both agree on that. That's what it states in the pattern. Grabbing the first one you'll do the, the back chain like this and then you'll go through the loop in the next. So I'm looking at the pattern here. So I got one, two, three. So I'm only gonna go to, uh, single crochet the next three. I'm not gonna do five like it's suggesting. Then I'm gonna go through the loop. And then I'm gonna cut the back of the next. See that looks more right to me. So now I'm going to do the next seven in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. See that looks right. So then I'm gonna come into the back loop. Then I'm gonna come into the loop itself. And then I'm only gonna do the thir first three. So one, two, and three. Then I'm gonna come into the loop and then into the back loop. And then I have two stitches left which is right. 
So I think the answer on this one here is there should be a total of three single crochets in between the thistles and I'm almost thinking this should have been as well. But who knows, right? So make sure you have your 25 stitches and so 1, 2, 3, 4, 25. So I got 25 so it still works. So turn your work and let's begin the next row which is the same as the fifth. So you're gonna just chain up one and you're going to do uh, one single crochet into each and I'll see you on row number 18 in just a moment. So let's begin the 18th row. In the 18th row we're going to be able to put this down. I am going to submit changes to your inspirations by the way from what I'm finding. So you may not even see my these errors in the original pattern by the time you see it. So chain it up one. You're gonna do one single crochet in the first five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then pin this one back and double crochet five times into that stitch holding that loop back. So we have one, where else do you use techniques like this do you know? Use techniques like this in Jacob's Ladder when you're doing the final row when you have all the loops all attached to each other. That's how you do that. So once you get your five in there just drop it, pick up the first, chain up one so that will close it and then starting in the next and you want to continue across so the next 13 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Pin this back and do five more double crochets into that one holding that back. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one to close it and then do the remaining of the five that are left. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So now we can then talk about what is repeating left in this particular pattern to finish. So at this time we just finished row number 18. So I need you to do for 19 all the way to 22 is the same as the fifth row. So 19, 20, 21, and 22. So it's four rows of single crochet. You're then going to repeat for rows 23 all the way to 30. You're going to repeat rows 3 all the way to 10 and that's where you're going to finish off. So what you can do in this video is you can go back to the rows and be able to start again and so essentially what you're doing is that you're doing four rows of these single crochets like there and then you're creating this again and then you're gonna be finishing just soon after that one's done and so that will be the middle one that will sit on top. Then once you're done that you can then apply your border. There's a link in the more information in this video if you'd like to do that. This one's kind of a tough one but I realized once I got to here I think that there's a mistake. See the difference of it looks and I think in the pattern um, I think that's kind of a I'm looking at it. It might be an actual mistake but that's okay. You know you live you learn what doesn't kill you. <laughs> it usually works on out. So let's uh, continue then and I'll see you next time as we continue to the wagon wheel with bobbles motif and that'll be up next time and I'll see you again then. Bye bye.